Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I'm having a great day. Um, we have a good one for you today. We're going to be using Phoenix or Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements El Fien, which is one I just repurchased. Um, it's one I had long ago and then I didn't use Phoenix for a while. I had to get it because it's a great scent. We'll talk a little bit about that in a moment, but I got to tell you something. I also purchased this one with it. Uh, or actually, I purchased this one behind it, and it came in the mail later. And I already had my uh, soap loaded today. The mail ran very, very late. Oh, I almost stopped to use this one. This is the Rabid uh, Banana. Woo! If you like banana. I don't know if I'd want to smell like banana for the aftershave, but I'm tempted, honestly. This smells great. If you like sweet, fruity... Banana, man, oh man, oh man, is it, it's good and strong too, it's at least eight, and I almost changed it up, but I already did the thumbnail for this video, and I was like, let's press on with it, Rabbit Banana, sent with a cool sticker, so I purchased this one, and I'm going to get to that one, because that one smells phenomenal, but Alphine, one of my old favorites from PAA, to me it has sort of a, I don't like florals typically, but this one has sort of a floral nature to it, but it's not granny floral. Um, it just smells like a sort of a nice cologne to me. If you look at the notes, uh, there's like rose, bay, bay leaf, um, I think tobacco, cypress. Uh, this one, I think I paid $39.50 for this set. So I got the aftershave too, which I forgot to bring in here, which means at some point I'm gonna have to go get it. But uh, I'll put links below if you're interested. This is just a really nice original scent from PAA. Slightly floral to my nose, but in a good way. Um, really, really nice. I don't really know how to describe it. There are probably people that are far better than me that could. We're also going to finally use the Cube. Uh, I haven't finished off the Razor Rock one, but we're going to use the PAA one. This thing is huge, by the way. It comes in a box like this, and they also sell a... Uh, a dock for it so once you use it you can set it on there it's kind of like a coaster and which is cool that's what i've been using for my um razor rock cube but i'm just like you know what i want to use the the friggin paa cube i've been trying to work through that razor rock uh, cube but it just won't die i'm going to be using the paa rocket today i've already got it loaded with the alphine and just to sort of semi mix um match the colors <laughs> we're using the the gold dollar 200 is it yeah 200 so that's what we're going with i almost changed it but i'm like oh, i don't want to have to do a new thumbnail and all that kind of rigmarole so let's just wet the face and get started with the cube as you can see here we got our this is our normal uh one day of growth 24 hours ish uh, maybe a little under um i can't really remember but anyway so let's see what happens with the cube here. I've never used a cube. Many people really enjoy it. Um, I saw Paul H. just shave with it. Like he just lathered it and shaved with it. And so I imagine that it will work really well. And now not everybody digs these uh, pre-shaves, but for me, if I'm gonna use a pre-shave, I want it to be a soap. I don't want oil on my face. I don't really personally like it. So something like this is right down my Allie, I'm going to wet my hand and just sort of rub that in just a little bit because I don't want it to sort of interfere with the soap. Although with a straight razor, you know, you just scrape it off. With a DE, if you have a pre-shaved soap and you don't work it in a little bit, it can sort of clog the blade. With a straight razor, that's not a problem. This will be straight razor shave number 29, working towards our magic 30. And 30 for me just means I've done it 30 times. It doesn't mean I'm great at it. I'm still very much in a learning uh, process. I'm more comfortable for sure, but uh, I'm still learning. And so keep that in mind. This Alphine smells great by the way. So I'm, I'm really excited to, to use it again. So let's get going. Let's just get into it. Oh yeah. I saw where uh, the dude of shaving has a soap coming out he and Magic Mike have a soap coming out from uh, Ginger's Garden based on Warheads, you know, that sour candy stuff. 
which is very, very cool. I'm going to get that because I, I like the dude and Magic Mike. I don't know Magic Mike very well, but he seems like a nice guy. I know the dude a little bit better. High energy, you know, different kind of channel, which I enjoy. Uh, I want to also mention, um, yesterday I made a video, 15 uh, straight razor shaves, shavers to watch and learn from. And I omitted some people I should have included, not deliberately. Um, Mike Baker, uh, I'll link their channels below. Mike Baker, great guy to learn from. Eric Latta from Adventures in Wet Shaving, great guy to learn from. Mark Dayock, I haven't seen his videos, but I've been, but I've been told he's another great straight razor shaver uh, to watch. Ross M is also a straight razor shaver that that uh, many people watch. I haven't seen his straight razor shaves, but uh, you know I, he's a good dude, so I, I imagine you could learn from him. Obviously, people like Lynn Abrams. Um, John Romanoff. So some of these people aren't really active, which is why I didn't mention them. Jam and GI James, my buddy. I can't believe I forgot him. He's also a guy you can learn from. Some of these people just aren't as active. That's why in part I forgot, <laughs> you know, so I apologize to all those wonderful gents and, and certainly didn't mean any uh, disrespect in leaving them off. So we're going to do the Doug Bear swing in method there to start. And again, this is the side of my face where I don't see quite as well. I must say, this freaking gold dollar shave's great. Um, right now, it is the straight razor that I'm just most comfortable with. In part, it's, it's six eighths. It's got some heft to it. And honestly, it just feels good to me. The hone on it feels, you know, good. And so it works well for me. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, I don't care what something costs. If it works well, I'm good with it. Does it look as great as the other razors? No. <laughs> Does Is the fit and finish great? No. Um, there's a lot of things that, you know, are not ideal. It's a $3 razor. I mean generally speaking, if you got it from China, but it's just a good shaver. It's not even particularly handsome, but it does the job, you know, and I just like the edge on it. And so works well for me. And so if it works, you know, I'm gonna go with it. Swing it in, Doug Baker style there. I hope you are all doing terrific. We're gonna try not to open those bumps there again today, but we might, and no big deal if we do. Let's get a little extra hydration going there. No big deal. We're not claiming to be experts in straight razor shaving. We are learning still very much in the learning process. But if you go watch those 15 plus the ones I've mentioned today, I think you're gonna find some great resources. And most of those guys are more than willing to help you. Some great people in there. So that's why I do these videos. I wanna, you know, always mention um, things that I like or folks that I see or, you know, people that I know to be helpful to you. Because I want as many people as possible to come in and discover this wonderful hobby. And so that's why originally, um, for those of you who know, it was TSE, the Shaving Evangelist. And my goal was to evangelize you know, like a preacher for wet shaving. <laughs> and so I probably should have just left left it that way, you know, because that's really what I love to do. Talk about shaving and talk about people that I like in this community. And that's just a lot of fun, you know, and, and it's been incredibly positive lately. And in a world where things are upside down, this is just one of those things you can share with people and enjoy. Just have a good time, you know, relax. Take a minute, luxuriate, you know. By the way, this soap is terrific. It smells fantastic. I like the brush too. This brush has a really sort of a beefy handle, um, but it feels good in the hand. And the performance of the regular CK PAA soap, in my opinion, it is one of the best uh, vegan formulas out there on the market. And some people would argue the best. Now, he also has CK6. 
for me, this regular CK hits the spot. I mean, I think it's phenomenal. I'm gonna dip my brush a little bit here and just get some more moisture in it. Again, I wanna continue to mention that my goal here on my channel is to get great shaves to the extent I can while learning straight razor shaving now. So I am not concerned about how this lather looks. I'm concerned about how the res razor is able to glide and and I love this scent. Um, and so I'm really happy to be using it today because I've really missed it. Uh, a lot of folks have commented and said, how did you get that tan if there was no sun at the beach? I mostly had the tan before I went and also after I've got off of work, um, since I've been back, I've been going outside because it's been very sunny here. Like it's going to be 90 some degrees today. So after work, I'll try to go out there. And what, what I normally do is, you know, try to call some folks and talk and just have a good time. And so that's where the sun <laughs> came from. I got like four hours of sun at the beach, maybe five um, and maybe eight hours total on the beach. It was absurd. You know, it's just not great beach time, but you know, what are you going to do? You know, it is what it is. This big old clunky blade just does its job. And does it well, and that's why I like it, you know. I ordered another one from uh, Frank Mesa because I want to try his edge. Um, obviously, I love, love, love the stallion edge, but you do have to try other edges just to see, you know, how you feel about them. And so we'll do that, of course. Again, trying not to open up those, <laughs> those uh, well, they weren't cuts from shaving. They were kind of pimple-like things, just imperfections, blemishes, whatever you want to call them. But we're trying to go easy, not to open them up. On that first pass, my lather was uh, way too thick because it wasn't rinsing off the blade very easy, but this time I've got it uh, in better condition. I've been watching a lot of guys straight razor shape. Kai uh, Triska has been making uh, Technic Tuesday videos, which I really appreciate. And I realize a lot of people in their videos when they're going, you know, up over the neck, they go up over and then out. I sort of follow it in, but that's just what feels comfortable to me. Um, when in doubt, do what the greats do. Don't do what I do, because I am a novice. Again, this is number 29. Oh, I also want to mention uh, Ken Klitschko. Shave 326 has started... I believe what he said, he's gonna do 30 straight razor shapes. I don't know if he's doing them consecutively. I can't remember, but he did his first the other day. So great job, Ken. And we think you will be very successful and wish you all the best and hope you will enjoy it. Because he said his shave wasn't particularly enjoyable. And to be honest, at first, it's not <laughs> when you're learning because you're so much in fear of cutting yourself that it doesn't lend itself to a particularly enjoyable shave. But as you go and get more comfortable, it does become more enjoyable. Ken, so if you're watching, keep plugging, man. You're going to do great. There will be some cuts along the way. There'll, there will be some cuts along the way still for me. I am... One thing about me, I'm realistic, and I realize I'm not the most talented person in the world, really, at anything. Um, so I like to highlight the, <laughs> the talents of others. I mean, I do okay at certain things in my own right, but I really like to highlight those who do it far better than me. It just, it makes me happy to do that and to connect people, you know, with the resources that they want or need. And I get a feeling of fulfillment out of that. That's why I'm always mentioning 
uh, folks, because I, I want people out there who are learning about shaving to be connected with these folks. And if my style is not for them, maybe theirs will be. But hopefully, you know, they'll enjoy my stuff as well. But, you know, as they say, a rising tide lifts all ships. And that's the, my approach to the hobby. This is a great brush, by the way. These are usually like $16.95 or $17.95, maybe $15. Somewhere between $15 and $17.95. I'll put some links below for you. Um, one of the things I'll say about PAA, and they'll be one of the uh, artisans that I spotlight on my Spotlight series. Uh, no one has really worked harder in the community. Now, granted, they had some missteps, but who hasn't? I mean, I've had plenty of missteps. I've done plenty of silly thing, like, you know, getting involved in politics and ranting on my channel, but it doesn't mean when you make a misstep or you stumble that you should be cast off forever. I mean, what kind of world would that be where we just, oh, you made a mistake, you're out, you're know, gone forever. They, in my opinion, have more than made up for the mistakes they've made. That you, you can always call on Doug and Fran. If something is needed in the community, they will participate. They will donate. They're very generous. And, you know, when I reached out to Douglas, when I said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm coming back with a clean slate. I want to get beyond all these old, petty, ridiculous squabbles. And he was like, he extended his hand and and I extended mine. And so since that time, we have just been good, you know, and like we're, we have the same goal, you know, obviously he, he's in the business and I'm not, but we want to grow the hobby and that's obviously beneficial for him, but it's beneficial for me too, because I love this, you know. So we're aligned in goals. And I also just happen to think that they have done a lot to Or make a amends for you know the some of those missteps in the past, and that means something to me, you know. And I'm a person who believes in forgiveness and so on. So that's why you see this stuff here. And a lot of you have come back to this channel after being turned off with all the politics and foolishness. So thank you, you know, for having an open mind as well. It's important. Let's see if I can stretch down here a little bit. I'm not stretching. Too much talking, not enough stretching. Plenty of residual slickness there, by the way. I think I forgot even what pass I was on. <laughs> so busy yapping and not, not uh, concentrating on the shave and and again, I'm at 18 minutes and I need to be moving these things along a little better. So my apologies for not keeping, keeping them a little more precise and timely. Feels good. We're about ready to call this one and grab that aftershave. That lather was from the other side of the blade, by the way. Anyway, let's call this. We'll rinse, come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back with our Lancaster towel. Andre is back from vacation, so soon he will, I'm sure, excuse me, he'll be putting some of these out soon, or at least I hope so. 
Okay, let's get to the witch hazel real quick here. Bayer's magic, because it's made by witches. You know that's true. Oh yes, yeah. great, great, great. What did we use today? We used the gold dollar 200, which we saw. We got a great shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. We used the PAA Rocket, which is a really, really good brush for the money. It's like 15, 16 bucks. I'll put a link below. We used the PAA Cube for the first time. This thing is massive. <laughs> I don't know if you can get it. There's my head, there's the cube. So, you know, I got a big head, so. Let that be your reference. And we're going to finish it off with um, the Alphine aftershave. But reminder, we use this soap. Smells terrific. I loved it. Um, this one you're going to see soon. I advise you to get it if you want it now because it's a seasonal offering. Whew, I got to smell it. I got to smell it. <sighs> if you like banana, yes, yes, yes. That's going to be a good one. So I might have to use that one for the next shave. I want to use it for the next shave, but I need to do a stallion shave for number 30, so I may not be able to. Okay, in comes the Alphine aftershave cologne. Again, I've heard people talking about these and they don't know how to get it out. The way I do it, put your finger over, let a little out. See, you can control the flow, control the flow. And then, oh, that smells great. Nice. Glad to have the Alphine back in the deck. An old favorite of mine. Again, slightly floral, but terrific scent. There's some menthol in there because you can see my eyes watering, but terrific stuff. Sorry the video went a little longer than expected. I was just having fun. Thanks as always for joining me. I can't tell you how much it means to me. It really means a lot. Until next time, I want to remind you, I'm CDB and I'm telling you it's your shave. Do it your way and God bless.